in this video of oracle sql we will cover the advanced grouping as in the previous two videos we have already covered the group functions like average sum minimum maximum and in the previous videos we have covered a couple of clauses like group by and having here in this particular video we will see something more about the grouping like we will cover the role of uh, operator which is used for the subtotaling apart from that we will go for using the cube operator which will do the cross tabulation amongst a couple of or more than uh, two columns and then the grouping functions which will uh, tell like on a particular per record on an, in, in the output which particular function is in action and which one is not so let's see all these things practically now so as in the previous video we have already noticed how can we go for the grouping on the basis of multiple columns so here as you can observe like in department 10 i have I am having a single job ID with the sum of salary. Similarly, in department 20, I have a couple of job IDs and their respective total salaries. But if I want to get a subtotal on the basis of each department, for example, after department 20, both the job IDs, I want to get the total salary which is being paid to department 20. For example, this is 13,000, this is 6,000. After both of these rows, I want department 20, 19,000 so that I can get like what is the total amount which we are paying to the department 20 and similarly for other departments as well. So for such things, what I'll do is I will simply go for the rollup operator where I will simply write rollup and inside the parenthesis, I will put the couple of columns. So let's save it, close it and let's execute it. So here now you can see after this particular uh, grouping you can get a single subtotal for department 10. Similarly the total of department 20 on the basis of each job ID and then the respective subtotal for department 20 and similarly for others as well. And once all the departments and job IDs are done here is the total. So uh, like this you can observe like okay if you want to go for the subtotal how can you do that on the base of roller where first of all you will get the grouping total for the department and the job and later you can get the subtotal for a single department and after that the overall total now if you want to do the cross tabulation for example if I want to do the uh, same thing on the basis of both the columns that is from the department ID as well as from the job ID as in the output you can observe like there are two sales representative like one is having 7000 and the one is having this particular amount so what I will do here is I can go for the cube operator where first of all the grouping will be done and the subtotaling will be done on the base of department ID and later it will be done on the base of job ID. So subtotaling will be done on the base of both the columns which we call the cross tabulation. So I will simply do one thing. I will replace this roll up with the cube. And now here you can see the result. Like first of all the output is very much equivalent to the roll-up operator and then after when the subtotaling is done on the base of the department ID we started with the job ID and here you can get the total for the specific job IDs so here uh, and finally you can see the total of the amount which you are paying for the employees so when you are using the cube operator this sequence will not be an issue like you can put job ID before and then department ID but in the other cases when you are doing the roll up because the subtotaling will be done on the basis of first column the sequence will be, an, in, will be an issue and similarly when you will not use any operator but you are just putting the group by again the sequence will be an issue so make sure you are minding the sequence of the columns while doing the grouping after this we can go for one more option that is the grouping function where it will make it even more clear like on a particular row which part on the basis of which column the grouping is being done so i'll do a couple i'll simply add a couple of columns here like grouping is the function department id 
because these are the two fields on the basis of which I am I have done the grouping and the grouping that's the function name again job ID let's save it close it put a slash and run it so now here you can see one more column got added where you can find zeros and ones so in this particular column the totaling is done on the basis of both the columns so you can find zeros in both the places but in this particular only job I department ID is in action but not job ID so zero is for the department ID as it is participating in this grouping but it is one in job ID as it is not participating for this row similarly for these two you will find zeros in both the columns because for these two records both are getting participated in this, this, these two rows but for this one you can see zero in department ID while one in job ID because in this row job ID is not participating in the grouping similarly later you can find all the ones in the uh, department ID because here department ID is not in the action but only job ID is in the action and later like here finally you can see since the grouping is being done on the base of to uh, on the base of total not on the base of a single or double column so you can see both of the columns are not participating and this is the actual total of the complete salary which you can also find from uh, on a very simple basis which we have done earlier like some salary from employees all right you can find there is the same value six nine one four double zero six one nine six nine one four double zero so this is how you can start grouping the data in Oracle while working with the select statement